Welcome to a special In Focus news report from the heart of London's civil engineering community in the UK. A chilly February morning saw His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales deliver a special lecture about civil engineering and sustainability at an event jointly organised by Halcro and the Institution of Civil Engineers at the ICE's London headquarters. Having arrived at the institution's headquarters sustainably by foot, Prince Charles addressed a full house on the engineering world's hottest topic. The Prince describes civil engineering as being on the front line of efforts to cope with pressing sustainability challenges such as climate change and the growing population. He called upon engineers as powerful agents of change to work with communities and the landscape to find low carbon solutions that are sustainable, durable and harmonious with nature. As part of his address, Prince Charles also confirmed that his Foundation for Building Community, an organisation which promotes a return of human values to the built environment, was working together with Halco to explore the possibility of developing a second scheme. Halco non-executive deputy chairman Tony Pryor also took the stage to thank the Prince for a stimulating lecture. He married art and the need for art in converting the world and commented on our Royal Charter, the institution's Royal Charter, with the need to harness nature. And his whole concept was nature is there and we are part of nature, we're not trying to fight it, we're not trying to control it, we are part of it and therefore we need to harness it with ourselves as human beings for the good of the planet. And I thought that was very powerful. I thought also is the way he linked sustainability with the good of our grandchildren, which I think is a wonderful definition that we believe in sustainable practices in order to make our grandchildren have a better world than we're delivering to our children. A range of representatives from Halcro, the ICE and client organisations were invited to attend the event and following reception. We were there to find out what they thought of the Prince's lecture. He talked about the fact that we aren't in bubbles as far as iron ore costs are concerned. These are real costs that we're going to have if we have a world of nine billion people. And how do we actually look after our resources, our natural resources on this planet? And civil engineers are fundamental to looking at the way that we use these natural resources. I was absolutely delighted with it. And I think everybody in the Great Hall now, is, well, there's a buzz. We've had a great attendance and it's fantastic to see all our key clients here, the environmental agency, the highways agency, and a lot of our partners here. So great turnout. I think we had a, a packed lecture hall. Well, the fundamentally, he wasn't coming in to tell civil engineers um, how wonderful they are, although he, there was a little bit of that in there. It was really also to give us a little bit of a wake-up call in his, in his own inimitable style, I have to say, um, that really there are things that we could be doing uh, that uh, will continue to improve what civil engineers do. He really understood all of the issues and drivers around population change, urbanisation, agriculture, virtual water locked up in, in, in some of the, the agricultural exports and the, the mining and, and industrial processes. And he just really understood that and articulated it and then linked it in with some of the social challenges. He was very inspirational. What rang true with me was the, the definition of the charter for civil engineers which was directing the forces of nature and he corrected that and said perhaps we can work with nature and that definitely resonates with what um, what I think and certainly using the territory that I that's most close to my heart which is the ground harnessing that for sustainable solutions is part of what um, I need messages from people like the Prince to be able to do that. There is a big picture here, there is a big need. We either address that need or we all are the losers. The Prince set down a challenge, a challenge for the engineering community and particularly civil engineers to be the agents of change on the, on the battlefield of sustainability and really challenge us to go out there and do it and get it done. It's good for industry, good for the profession and good for health care.